other side of the focus tower let's head to the first battlefield here we have skipped it a couple times now let's see what is here we do have new enemies these are jellies uh, they are weak to bomb but I'm gonna go with axe nonetheless because it works just fine I don't need something that they are weak against if I can one-shot them with something that isn't consumable. I'll meet you when there's just one battle left. Just one more round to go. Let's see what we're up against. It's still just a single jelly. Uh, and we get the strike first on it. Okay, they do sometimes go in pairs. Fry can actually one-shot one of these as well. So really, even when they come in pairs, it's not all that difficult for me. But for our reward here, we get 900 gil or gold. Either way, we got it. So we're going to move on to the next battlefield where we can find a new enemy. It's a Sting Rat, which is an upgraded Edge Hog. Let's attack that one with Fry. Reuben can hit the, what was it again? Sting Rat? It sounds like a translation of Hedgehog from a different language, like German or something. Maybe that's just me. Nine more to go. I will see you when there's just one more to go. Just one more round to go. And we are up against a Sting Rat all by itself. And we got first strike. I think I should be able to handle this. Indeed I can. Down it goes. For I can one-shot those things as well with the battle axe. And we've won the Gemini crest for our efforts. That's probably going to be important. But for the time being, we're just going to move on to the next battlefield where we should get a new enemy. We have upgraded trees. We're up against Plant Man. As you might expect, it's weak against axe. So that plays right into my hands, doesn't it? Nine more battles of these to go, none of which I'm too concerned about. Last battle of the battlefield, and we're up against a single plant man. They do come in pairs, but it's still not concerning because they are weak against axe attack, so... What are you gonna do? Other than absolutely destroy them. Having Reuben along for this makes this exceedingly easy. And our reward this time is 816 experience. I still level 18 though. Uh, with our new Gemini crest, we can head back into the house. I believe it was this one. No, this was not the one. But we can get more refreshers while we're here. <laughs> not that I'm using those all that much. Uh, I, oh, I'm thinking of the Northwestern house in the other town, aren't I? Uh, this one then. Here we go. With our Gemini crest, we can warp somewhere else. Where else did we see this before? Hey, look, it's the lady that sold us something before. We can warp all the way back to Aquaria. Why you would want to do that, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, that is an option to you. I guess it's a little bit of a shortcut, but I don't see a reason to come back here now. So I'll just go with the speed up music. Yeah, yeah, you're the one that sold me the battle axe. The other person's the one that sold me the steel helm, was it? It's been a while. She sold me armor, though. I remember that. I feel like I'm missing that. Hold on. Is it down here? It is. So I missed this the first time. Got it this time. They're just heal potions. Not that big of a deal, to be honest. All right, we will head up here, and we will exit out. Give me my good axe. And we will continue on to another battlefield. Let's see what we are up against this time. We have plant men and sting rat. Just the one sting rat this time. Now, should be easy enough to take these guys out, especially since I got to go first. We'll just take out the plant man quite easily. Not as much damage as Reuben, but we're still you know, five levels lower than him, so it does take a little bit of work. Oh, and I get a critical hit on, on the Sting Rat. 
We do get a big chunk of experience for this one, so I am a big fan of big battles at this point. I'll meet you when there's just one battle left. Actually, there are some new enemies here, so we will show these off as well. These are Flazards. They are flame lizards. So as you might expect, they are weak to Blizzard. Unfortunately, I can only get one at a time with Blizzard. So we'll hope that Morningstar does take it out. It does. We'll go for Blizzard on the other one, though. Oh, how do you like a snowman just going right on top of you? Apparently, it doesn't. So we will take those out. Yeah, next battle. So I still got eight more to go. But now that we've shown off the new enemy, I'll meet you when there's just one battle left. After finally making the trek back to heal, we're ready to take on the last round of this battlefield. And we're up against two Flazards again. So I didn't need to show them off last time, but either way, we're gonna take the first one out with a Blizzard and the second one out with the Morningstar, hopefully. They will not die to a single attack with Battleaxe, unfortunately. Not at this level, even though that is now up to level 19. Still not good enough. But for our efforts, we do get 1,200 gold. 1,200 gil. Either way, it's a lot of money. Considering the axe only cost me 500, I don't know what they're expecting me to use all this money on. Let's head to the final battlefield, though, before we head into the mine. Let's see what we got here. We have new enemies. We have red caps. Uh, Flazards, I've already forgotten their name, uh, will show up here as well. Let's see if they are weak to axe. Go, axe! Down goes one. Will the red star go down? Not if you miss it. And it goes for a stare, which does confuse Ruben, which is definitely not a good thing to have happen to him. Hopefully this takes him down. No, it does not. And now you have confused Fry as well. Ruben, please finish off the red cap before we start hurting ourselves. Ruben didn't stay confused for very long. Nine more to go. I'll meet you when there's just one, yet again. All healed and ready to take on the last battle before we head into the mine. So hopefully I don't get any damage done to me here. Let's take out the red caps. Ruben can take one out all by himself. I don't believe Fry can. He cannot. And it goes for a kick. Does a little bit of damage, but I am full on cure potions. So that is not an issue. I was hoping to get in without any damage, but that little amount, we'll be fine with that. For our efforts, though, we do get Thunder, our first wizard spell. We have seen it before, but Fry has access to it now, and that's always a good thing. So we will head into the mine. Here we do get the battle, the dungeon music, I should say. Do you like it? Do you like it? First thing we're gonna do is head up this conveyor belt here, which is in a mine for some reason, and take on a new enemy. Two new enemies, in fact. We have red bones and we have zombies. Now I do believe that zombie can poison us, so we'll go ahead and take that one out first. And we'll just go ahead and miss. That's great. As it goes for headbutts and swords. Now right, let's try this again. Just do as much damage as we can. Does not take out the red bone. All right, sleep powder, that's not an issue. Really? Really, guys? Come on now. We're going for the morning star. Down goes the red bone. 954 experience, 36 gil. That is definitely worthwhile. All right, we can find something that we can blow up here. You didn't get to really see me throw it, but uh, trust me, throwing is done. So, we have lots of enemies to take out along the paths here. Why beat around the bush? Let's do it. I will show you any new ones. Otherwise, I'm going to take out all eight of them. Actually, it looks like we have already found all the new enemies in this dungeon. So we'll just start clearing treasure chests. We'll get ourselves a heal potion. Well, a set of three heal potions. And head all the way to the other side where we can find a set of three cure potions. I have been using those, so 
more is always appreciated. And then we can just head back out of here. Switch over to a more effective weapon. Pretty much anything else would have been effective. And we can head all the way to the right here. Ride this down, even though it's kind of a one-way trip, and take out these two enemies. And we can find another obviously bombable door here, which we can then head in and find more enemies. I'll take on at least these three. All three of those enemies are gone, and there is nothing on the left side, so I took out one enemy for nothing other than experience. But I do enjoy getting that experience. One more enemy to take on, and it looks like we have an important treasure chest on the other side. And in this important treasure chest, we can get a Charm Claw. Charm Claw is an upgrade claw weapon, as I'm sure you might imagine. Upgrade from 62 on the Cat Claw to 97. As you can see, it does inflict quite a few status effects, so if you can get one of those to land, you're doing pretty good. However, as you can see, the attack power is pretty low, especially compared to the Battle Axe, which is at 122 right now. Of course, the Mega Grenade's at 162, but it does have its uses. For the most part, I'm going to be sticking with that Battle Axe, though. Just seems like a better option in most cases, especially if Fry can one-shot the enemy, which he's starting to be able to do from time to time. Uh, you can head over to the right, but as you can see, that uh, conveyor belt's kind of going the wrong direction, so we're kind of stuck here. So we're just going to head down here to find another enemy.